<laughs> Aaron just asked me if I could get the tree a little bit of sunlight, and I'm just like, I don't know if the sun's gonna come through the clouds today. I mean, y'all try. <laughs> No, come on, come on. Hands are full with garbage and stuff. I don't have the phone in today because little Joe is not talking to me. Not that he's not talking to me anymore, he's probably working late. So after we did The Gifted last night, we started watching some just generalized watch later on the YouTube and then Aaron poured some uh, shots of whiskey after, after one of his Christmas presents and we decided it was time to start watching um, a YouTube channel that, do, that does like Tumblr memes and stuff and yeah Aaron was losing he was losing his mind last night yeah yeah I'll always use these that one's broken oh it doesn't have a bottom uh. clam oopsie so <laughs> this morning I was swiping to someone and I sw tried to swipe in Facebook the three suggestions they came up, and I don't know why they came up this way, but one of them was, did you mean Fabo? Did you mean Bakarai? Did you mean Fly? And I'm like, I don't mean either of those. I want, I want Facebook, not a bakery, and not Fabo, and not custard pies. Sorry about that, we were navigating a bunch of people and I was forcing conversation. <laughs> That's why I was like, uh, oh, what's going on here? Yeah, I'm, I'm very, I'm very, I'm not weirded out, but it's just a little bit that the physical therapy place was like, mm, um, we have an appointment. It's really far out there. Um, how's next Monday? What? Yeah. Usually I, I'm like, it's really far out there. You got six months. What? I mean, that's part of the reason why, you know, I always physically walked into the doctor's office to make a doctor appointment down at OHSU South Waterfront. Because if I tried to set up one online, I was only ever for the mid-afternoon, and it was always two months out. Yeah. So I usually walked in and got in within two days. Because I just walked in and was just like, I need to make an appointment. They're like, did you call the thing? And I'm just like, I just, it's not really good with my phone. That's an IC. Yep. Yep. You can hear. You're, I can hear the difference in trains. That's a big IC on top of that. Yeah. Must be going to Rotterdam. Everything big goes to Rotterdam. So Aaron is having a disgruntled moment with his weather app this morning that he woke up and it said minus one, low of minus one. He got out of the shower, came back and looked at his phone, said zero, low of zero. And I'm like, yeah, I don't know why that changes. <laughs> like I completely understand like if your low gets lower or your high gets higher because they mispredicted. Yeah. I mean, I can... Basically, if you mispredict and have to expand the range. Yeah, or like, sure. like with the high, if they're like, oh, okay, well, we're gonna have a high of 19 today. And then like freak clouds come in and you only get up to 17. Uh, okay. okay, I get it. The freak clouds that came in and they're not just not that much sunlight gotcha but don't modify you know but it's like if your weather app has already registered the temperature don't modify it later yeah <laughs> but you know that's probably a question i should have asked bradley while we were still over there i mean i know i could still message him he's up in the middle of the night anyways i'll probably do that when i get home i'll probably do that tomorrow morning when i'm editing this video Yay, delayed memories because of YouTube. <laughs> I'm gonna link to the one video that was just causing Aaron to just lose his self up there. And so you guys can join that one. If, if, you, if you're able to get a little drunk, do so. Because it's great. Yeah. Especially if you're a millennial and you identify with a lot of these things. If you're an older generation, like one of our parents' generations, you may not completely understand some of this stuff. You want to say bye? I think that's your bus. Bye. All right. The sun has 
come out and done stuff. I could feel a little bit of heat, so I have the plant and a little bit of sunlight. Checking the angles here with the camera. Yeah. It's like even, yeah, the plant's in the right spot as soon as this keeps up. I keep looking at the sun. God, ow. Anyway, I'm doing my quest, quest things on WoW. Um, yeah, stood up to piddle. <laughs> um, it's 1.30 right now. I'm gonna, I'm finishing up the Embiggener quest. And it literally just got to a point where the gnome quest giver, the very last thing she says, are you ready for science? And I'm just like, my main character is a gnome and is, an in, is a gnome who is an engineer and an arcane mage. And his backstory is the fact that he went to Dalaran University to study the arcane magics because he had reached the pinnacles of what technology could do and wanted to infuse magic into machines. So if someone asking him if he's ready for science, he's like, I was born for this. So yeah, I'm gonna finish that one up and eat some FUD. Um, yeah, probably some sandwiches. Pepperoni sandwiches. Chur chorizo pampaloma. Pampalona. The Spanish stuff. I'm listening to Whiskey in the Jar by Metallica. Actually, I have it on single repeat for a little while because I want to have the pump power to get home. I really can't hear what I'm saying right now because I'm listening to the song and I may be a little off-timed in my typical cadence of voice. Because I'm also like, my heart's beating really hard because it's There's a link up there and downstairs in case you guys want to completely understand what this song is. It's, uh, I was actually going to make a music video to this song of the football game, assuming the Dublin Rebels played in the Atlantic Cup and we whooped the crap out of them. Because it's one of those Irish folk songs about like robbing someone and then getting your just dessert. And they were the reigning champions of last year's Atlantic Cup and if we were to beat them, I don't know. Maybe I don't understand the song. Especially in my mother's chamber. Whack for my daddy-o. 